My name is Konsta Punka. I'm a wildlife, nature and adventure photographer. I come from Helsinki, Finland and uh, I've been doing photography since I was 16 or 17. This wild tiger trip was about going to the East Finland, which is very uh, sort of wild still. It's the only place you can find wolves, bears and photograph them. So I wanted to show the rough, wild East Finland. I didn't sleep tonight. Uh, you didn't sleep tonight? No, I, I have switched my uh, time schedule that I I am awake all the night so we can shoot all night and then you can sleep the daytime when the sun is too bright and nothing to shoot. Traveling in Finland at summer is very special because uh, if you are a photographer you can have the perfect golden light that you would have in for example Europe for hour here you can have it whole night so the first day we focused on one of my spots in southern Finland where we often photograph deer and moose now you need uh, to have your camera handy on your lap because the situations come very quickly with the moose and deer so I will have my 7200 to get the shots I want on on the scene. Not too long lens and not too uh, wide lens. It's a good uh, handy handy lens to use on quick situations. The car is of the best height you can have for wildlife photography. So it does good mix with the moose and deer photography and with the cheek grass. After the shooting in close to Helsinki, we then started our journey towards uh, Pulkilan Hari, which is a gorgeous road which goes through Päijänne, which is the second biggest lake in Finland. Good spot for getting some car, car photos and uh, photographing the lakes in Finland. Uh, today is uh, quite a bit of driving. Now we start off a uh, drive of uh, six hours maybe. We get to the actual wild tiger area and uh, see the first spots over there. We try to avoid the motorways and drive uh, smaller roads to see some uh, nice uh, landscapes of Finland with perch trees and lakesides and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to it. So Holy Holy National Park uh, is very special because uh, in Finland it's hard to find uh, places that you have a straight down drop. So all the hills or higher places are always slopey hills. So there is no straight cliffs down. So in the east is the only place in Finland where you can find few spots where you have a river or lake that uh, has uh, these sort of a cliff canyons or lakes that actually give you then completely different atmosphere or views because you actually can see over the trees. take a nice sunset or a sunrise picture but it's uh, it's always all about the composition or the subject you have with the sun so so basically good first tip is to get to know the area uh, before the magic actually happens so you 
are not running when the good light is and shooting random stuff, you actually know what you are going to shoot. The second tip is when you when you have your spots in mind, uh, the sunrise at this time of the year in Finland is at 3 a.m. or even in the north it doesn't even set. So you have to be on the spot uh, before the sun uh, gets up on the horizon. And the last uh, thing uh, with sunrise at this time of the year, all the shooting is happening often in the golden light. There is a lot of happening in a the picture. There's uh, strong highlights, strong contrast, uh, dark shadows, and uh, you need to find a good balance with it, with it and uh, find a perfect setup for that. So after the uh, tough night of shooting the sunset in Koli, we the team went back to sleep a bit and then after a few hours of napping we went uh, very close to the Russian border. This place is really really gorgeous. I never imagined a road like this where you can reach by the car. I'm really curious to see what's what we are going to see tonight. Suppose that there are some wolves that are wandering around the area and probably if we are enough lucky we will catch them. And uh, this time when we were in the East Finland and going to this wolf hype, I was of course again very stoked to see, see the wolves because the odds were now almost uh, the best I have had on my Pro project so far. I have tried to see them maybe five times and then didn't see them and now a few times at summer. It's a challenge I love that something doesn't come easy. So when you are in the wildlife fight, uh, we have these uh, bags where you put your lens through. So basically, the only movement, movement animals will see is the lens moving like this. And when, you, when the wolf comes, you will move very slowly like this to follow it. You put the lens out like this, uh, it will stay there overnight until morning. You cannot change the lens or do anything like this because then the animals now we are waiting for the next uh, 12, 12 hours, I guess, uh, and watching what we can see and uh, hopefully some wolves. That would be crazy to get my first ever wolf. So uh, I think we have been in a height like 30 minutes and we got the first pair already here. First wildlife hike now, now. Uh, we got quite a few bears and uh, we got to see the wo uh, wolverine at a few times at the night. But still the, uh, still the wolves kept their, kept their way uh, out, out, so it's still a mystery animal. When you're staying in heights you definitely need to have the patience because you need to be quiet all the time. And it's sometimes it's uh, one night, sometimes it's two days, sometimes even three, if you want to see something very shy and rare. You need to keep yourself uh, fresh thinking and uh, always see the goal in your eyes. After 20 hours, you will uh, all the time start to ask yourself like, why I'm here, why I'm not doing something more fun. Because there would be better places to stay for 24 hours, but uh, that's the only way you get the shot. So you pass that and just have clear 
side of the goal you want and that way you can achieve it. There's no shortcuts to that.